Actually, my favorite takedown in the world, Kasoto Gaki. I've been saying it's Kasoto Gari, but I'm, I'm not a judoka, so that's forgivable. So we're doing this from a 50-50 position. If you're like me and you have really long arms and hate shooting, I think we made a, a short about this. Okay, you'll probably love this takedown. If you have really, really short arms, you'll probably love this takedown from double underhooks instead of from 50-50, but they're, they're very, very similar. So uh, we're gonna do it from 50-50 today. One little thing on 50-50 position, this is what wins. If I'm like this, he's gonna win. There's very little, little that I can do with my shoulder popping out of his shoulder line like this that's gonna help me to score, okay? But if my shoulder is a little lower than his shoulder, now, I have the, the ability to score, he does not. Well, he has less ability to score. So it's really a battle of whose shoulder is lower. I'm trying to put my shoulder right in the center of his chest, and that way his will be a little bit higher and I have a bigger opportunity to score. One quick way to do that is to just lengthen your arm, right? So we're in this 50-50, I haven't locked my grip yet. I won't lock my grip until I can get shoulder position. I'm just gonna do that. I don't do it straight down like this because obviously he could go to my back, but I go this direction and I just lengthen that. And now my shoulder's a little lower than his. I can go and reach as low as I possibly can to grab his hips. And now I want to start pulling him in. Okay, I like to use an S grip to grab the hips and I'm pulling him in. As I'm pulling him in, I'm pulling myself in too. I'm gonna use this back leg and I'm gonna step it around his legs. Just go this way. So I use that back leg and I start stepping around his leg. And now I block his leg with my knee. While I'm blocking with my knee, my hands are being pulled towards me. Okay, so I didn't let my hands slip over there. I wanna keep them as close to this hip as possible. Okay, now I'm not trying to take him down over here, twisting him around. I want his spine is right here. I want him to fall towards his spine. So I'm just gonna start falling this direction. I let go of my hands right now because you don't really need them on the way down. And it just helps my partner not get knuckles in his back. Although you can keep your hands locked and then as soon as you land, just start bridging with your legs and get back on top, okay, and attack. Okay, so I'm here in my 50-50. Okay, I drop that shoulder. As Soon as I have shoulder position, I'm gonna lock my hands and I'm gonna start pulling him in and stepping around the corner. Okay, now when I step around the corner, I'm not hooking my leg like, a, like this kind of kasoto. Okay, although you could use that. I've seen people use that to pull them in and then get, the, get to blocking with their knee. I choose to step in in a very straight position and just block the knee right away. And now I want to fall right to his back. I'm gonna keep my hands connected so we can see exactly what to do if that happens. Okay, I, I fall. And now from here you can see I'm kind of beside him. Although, I have an underhook on this side, he does not. That puts me way ahead in the race to get on top. So I use the momentum and I bridge with my legs and I use that to get on top. Bang, 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 do damage. There is some nuance to this. It's a very easy takedown, but there is a little bit of nuance. The most important thing is what's happening with my leg and his leg, right? My quad and his hamstring. Once I step in around the corner, I'm on the ball of my foot and I'm creating like a Di diagonal inward shape with my quad. It is making contact with his hamstring, with the back of his leg. I do not want to, as I'm doing this takedown, take that out. Although when you're, when you're first learning this, it's what you feel like you should do. I wanna keep it there as long as I can until his back hits the ground. I want my leg behind his leg. That way I can guarantee that this is not gonna get to the ground, okay? If this gets to the ground too early, okay, he's not gonna go down. If it gets to the ground late, okay, now he has more of his legs to assist him in getting on top of me. I don't think I've ever really lost the race to the top on this takedown, actually. It's very, very reliable. So let's see this one more time. Make sure you're not doing it from shitty shoulder position. Drop the shoulder, lock up, pull the hips in, step around the corner, nice and tight to the leg, 
stay high. Do not sag down like this. Stay nice and tall and then just fall to his back. Get on top. When we're doing this, it's not always that you'll be able to get the guy's leg off the hop every time. So we need something to play it against. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing, but on the other side. I go to attack this Kosoda Gaki, and he steps his leg out. He, he saw it coming, maybe I've done it to him already. And he's able to get that leg out. Now, we have to be planning for this off the hop because if he gets the leg out and then I go to the next move, it's gonna be hard. But if as he's getting his leg out, I've already planned this in my head, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the, the timing to go and do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going here, here, okay? And now from here, I do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna fall and end up on top of him. Okay, again, we're falling to his back, to his spine. There's almost no like twisting while I fall. I go, boom, block, he okay, steps out. I block and then I just tell the kids like, timber, right? Like a, like, a, like a tree falling down, you just fall down. Okay, now the hands, we've got some nuance in the hands. Okay, so I'm going here and pulling to this hip on that first step. When he steps out, I'm gonna do the opposite. I go around to the other side and I pull this way. So whatever leg you're blocking, you want the hands pulled to that same hip. So I'm going boom, he steps out, boom, this way. And you can keep going with that same thing. Okay. Boom, boom. If you want to fight in MMA, like this right now this is the perfect time to sign up for my pro fight guide every single video that i ever release including the anti-wrestler guide which is like 70 plus videos we got the mma basics course that we're building right now getting new videos out there every single week this is my 22 years of mma experience bottled up in one package i fought in the ufc i train elite guys ali wasuk just won the belt, BFL bantamweight champion. If you wanna be like this guy, get into this course right now. You also get access to my private community. You'll be able to talk directly to me, send me things that you're struggling with. Say you're getting armbarred by everybody, getting smashed by wrestlers, you're getting ground and pounded, whatever the situation is, let me know and I will personally help you. I can send you videos, you can send me your training videos, but I'm not letting too many more people in, so get in now before we close it off forever.